So good morning and bear with me one second. <coughs> Let's put my glasses on. Good morning and uh, welcome again. We are out in the van, as you've probably just noticed. Um, just boiled the kettle, got myself a, a nice porridge on the go and uh, a nice cup of coffee, which I desperately need. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Desperately need a nice strong coffee. Got a bit of a sore throat this morning and a <laughs> snotty nose. So I'm out in the van and uh, I've got the bike on the back of the van. And the reason I've got the bike on the back of the van, this is the Escute mountain bike, the ele electric bike. The reason I've got that on the back of the bike van is Escute has asked me if I can get a couple more photographs of it. And I'm more than happy to do so uh, for the goodness that you know, they sent it to me and I managed to show you guys. I'm going to integrate it into my photography today. I'm going to, I'm up on the Klangolan uh, viewpoint. The view outside is spectacular. Now I was woken up this morning by a gorgeous glow of sun coming down the valley and lighting up all the valley and everything was nice and golden and beautiful this morning um i had a bit of a lie-in because i'm not feeling up to it really um so yeah it, it was really nice outside now it's drizzling now it's a bit wet a bit wet a bit wet a bit rainy but i'm still going to take the bike out now where i'm parked on the main viewpoint there's a track um just off to my left i'm going to try and take the bike up the track up onto the top of the ridge and cycle over the top of the ridge um, and that way I can look down over the Klangolan Castle I think it's Castle Dinas something like that um, the sun's just coming out again as well how cool it's going to be in and out all day I think all day so I'm going to try and cycle up there take the bike up there get the electric power going see how it goes integrate it into my photography take a few pictures of the bike as well and try and get a couple of photographs looking over the top uh, of the castle so that's the point just to do something for rescue and to also bring you a, a video and uh, some photographs let's get my gear on let's drink my coffee first because i really desperately need this mm. and by the way i think you've seen me drinking out this cup before on this cup is one of my photographs if i can find the photograph i'm going to put it up on the screen for you and i want you to tell me what do you think of the photograph that's actually wrapped around this cup all right i'm going to put it up on the screen for you it's something i used to do in the past and uh, see if you can work it out if it's on the screen now, give yourself a few minutes to have a look at it, really look at it, and then mention in a comment what you think it is, how you think I've done it, and uh, do you think it's clever? And the sun's definitely come out. Grey skies, moody skies, rain showers, and sunshine. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner for photography. Right, let's get my gear on, drink this, get myself woken up, eat my breakfast, and uh, let's get the bike off the back and uh, make a move. So we are actually kitted up, ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna make sure everything's off in the van. One thing I've forgotten is my water bottle. So I need to climb in, grab me water, because I can't go anywhere without me water, because I'll be thirsty later on. So yeah, we're done here. Just gonna grab that, close the door, and lock her up. And then we're ready to get going. So I've made myself up to the first little waypoint. I've got a panoramic view on the side there. It's not easy riding with this pack on my back, I've got to be honest with you. Um, I suppose it's because I'm going uphill straight from the van. 
I've got it in power four at the moment in low gear and I'm just keeping on. I've had a stop, I've taken a couple of pictures already because I had to catch my breath and take my body warmer off. It was a bit too warm. So uh, I've took a couple of photographs. I'm just now gonna just stand back that way. I've got my uh, 50 to 200 mil on so I can sort of compress everything and make it look like we're in the hills and the mountains for them. And now I'm gonna take a shot this direction with the side of the bike, looking from the post on the side of me there and try and get the castle and a little bit of light in the background. So. This is all for a scoot. Like I say, they gave me the bike to show you guys and uh, I feel obliged to uh, send them the photographs when they ask, which is not a problem. It's I'm still out. I'm still doing landscape photography and still enjoy myself. Now I'm at a dilemma now, if I show you why, let's just take you off. I'm at a bit of a dilemma now. I see I'm at this post there. You can see the post behind me. Uh, it tells me the panoramic, panorama's that way. You got a lead down there's also a footpath going up the hill which we have been up before with denise mrs c but the dilemma is do i carry on going up the way and across but i think i've got to go down and up or do i head down this little track here take my time and then make my way up there's a gate there and make my way across so i can get onto the ridge because that's where i want to be over on that ridge so that's the plan heading that direction all i've got to do is make my mind up which way i'm going to go to get there uh, if I go down, I've got to come up, but I'm going to cycle back on the road anyway. It's not a problem. Um, yeah, I think I need to be down on the ridge. So it's a bit more exciting. So we'll have to head down. And if I can't cycle down it, I'll walk because I'm not breaking another finger again. <laughs> myself to another little place uh, come down I didn't actually cycle down that path I sort of lost my bottle a little bit after breaking this finger I didn't want to sort of go down too much of a steep hill I just come down a little bit of a steep route I've got to a, a sty and I thought instead of carrying it over the sty I turn left and head down which is a good call because I can see where I'm going now I'm going down here through this bracken along the wall and there's a gate that leads me over to the ridge which is exactly where I want to be so this is a good little direction to come the wind is getting up something chronic really is quite windy but I'm gonna see if I can get another shot of the bike here maybe maybe not no I think I'm gonna wait until I get onto the top and uh, I'm definitely definitely walking it down this slope because there's no chance I may even carry it on my shoulder <laughs> there's no chance I'm gonna cycle down that and it's a good job I stopped because look at this down here there's a ridge and that would have been complete doom I'd have broken more than my finger going off of that one so yeah do take your time when you're riding in areas you don't know so I'm gonna carry it down here get myself on a bit more of a slope and I'm going to carry on but coming up that hill was an absolute breeze definitely helps the old photography legs <laughs> Just to fill you in, coming down this slope, I'm not kidding you, seriously, seriously steep. I'm having fun, but by God, it's scary. I've got a little way to go and then there's a bit of a brook down the bottom here, and then I've got to make my way up the other side. But at least the other side, I can use the power assist to get me back up it. But by God, this is a steep slope to bring a bike down on its own. And you are prickly. Ooh. I want that in my face. Yeah, I've got the back brake locked on. I'm just taking one step at a time, trying to find a place to put the bike and a place to put my feet, and just keep making my way down. <laughs> I do some absolutely stupid things sometimes. This is not the path to be bringing a bike. Oh, I'm at the brook. All I've got to do now is get it up the other side. So let's get across this brook, little stream. And then oh, I'm going to push it up the other side and uh, at least I can see the road from where I am. But by God, I'm sweating. I'll be glad to get up to the gate the other side where it starts to get flat again. Oh, you wouldn't believe how steep that is behind me. Honest to God, it's so, so steep. You probably can't really see me with the shadows, but I'm having to walk it up 
this slope it just hasn't got <laughs> the oomph to carry me and my bag up this hill but it doesn't matter how far I go because I know it will carry me back and with the pedal assist thing I can keep my finger on the control panel on this bike and it actually walks itself up the hill so all I'm really doing is guiding it so it's actually quite good very lunar looking I've never been up here before oh, except for this bit this bit's steep I've never been up here before but wow limestone Woo! this is quite a view yeah <laughs> this is quite a view my word let me show you this so we are the van if you can see it, it was bitingly blue over then the van if you can see it is way off over there up the road right on that little corner just there and I've come up onto this ridge there is another ridge just on this side where are we in sunshine just on this side there there's a ridge there that I'm heading to but look at this all this limestone that's up here so I'm going to uh, get a picture of the bike I think looking like it's in the hills I think I'm going to take a picture of the bike like that I think that looks pretty cool so I'm going to get that one shot and then I'm going to make my way up there on the top of that one just up there I've made it up onto the top I was just up by that tree just now and I've just come down a little bit further just purely so I can get a picture of the castle with the sun on it it's got side light on it at the moment so the castle's sort of quite bright and highlighted against the background and the background's got trees in it so it's actually um, made it stand out a little bit uh, I think handheld is going to be good enough I brought my little tiny Bemro with me but I think handheld is going to be plenty good enough image stabilizers on I'm at uh, where are we I need to put my screen on I can't see I'm at 5.6 because I want to sort of blow the background out a little bit I think uh, so by doing 5.6 it should give me a shallower depth of field especially with the 50 to 200 and I'm just going to balance it on my balance myself on my knee the image stabilizer is on so I should be able to get quite a good shot of the castle I'm going to just check it in my live view to make sure it's all nice and sharp because I say I've got it on my knee and it looks fantastic and I may even go down to f4 f4.5 do you know what let's go f4 best we can zoom in a little bit and just try and blow the background out a little bit it's a cracking castle really is it looks fantastic I've just zoomed in a bit more gone back up to 5.6 I'm at 200 mil now and bang looking pretty pretty good so that's pretty good that's pretty awesome I'm glad I'm up here I'm glad I'm on the bike as well I've now got to take some pictures of the bike as well but this is landscape photography this is just that uh, I'm concentrating on the bike a little bit more obviously if you haven't got to take pictures of the bike you can be doing just landscape um, the bike is helping me it is assisting if you pick the easier routes it's definitely assisting me to get up here and like I say the journey back is going to be an absolute breeze just cycle down this is a fantastic part I've never been up here before this is up on the top of the Hlangollen Ridge it's just amazing it's all a like a chalk 
limestone cliff and I'm, i think i need to show you just have a look at this let me get you come here come here come here come here look look at what i'm actually standing on ready look at this look at this ridge i'm on this top of this ridge line. i've been up to that tree i'm going to go a bit further along but i'm on the top of this ridge line that comes all the way along right the way down to that little pinnacle part there and i definitely need to go to that little pinnacle part the van's over there in yonder you've got Hlangolan down there in the bottom there's the castle if i zoom in for you you can see the castle that's what i was talking about just now it's a bit windy stood up here it's just step away away from the edge there's your castle like i say i was trying to get the castle with this surrounding woodland behind it, it just looks really really cool but what fantastic place this would be great for sunset wouldn't it with the sun setting over on this side it'd be fantastic so enjoyable or not enjoyable you tell me this is amazing i love this all days myself just out the weather is definitely playing ball it's good to go wet and horrible later on but i'm going to carry on up the ridge uh, i'm going to first go down to the end of that one and get a shot of the castle going that way uh, take a few pictures of the bike i will put them up for you, you can have a look anyway and then oh look at the two massive big birds uh, look at them i think oh it's spinning around there's two massive big birds just landing on that tree they're messing around by that tree they're on it at the moment there's one look at that massive is that a buzzard a kite or something two really big birds on there all right enough messing around myself this little patch to sit in i put the bike down now and uh, bags down and i'm just going to sit here now and have a, a drop of water and i'm going to have some munches and uh, yeah i'm just going to chill out i don't know whether to end the video here or not but what i won't do is i want to do no more b-roll you've seen where i am you've seen what i'm doing you've seen what i'm up to now if i do get another shot of the castle in any other way or the hills or the mountains and stuff in the background then I'll switch you on and tell you. If not, please like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. It really does help the algorithms. Uh, I know we repeat ourselves, or I repeat myself time and time and time again, but if you do watch this, please subscribe. I've got so many more people watching than I have subscribing. I don't understand why that is. And I'm not the only one. There's a lot of other people the same. If you watch, check it out. Subscribe and maybe notif you know, press the notification bell and see you know some other stuff. Yeah, I've got another channel started up. Uh, I don't know what it's called yet, whether it's Tech Corner, whether it's Out of the Box or something like that. Um, but yeah, I've got a, a gadgets where I put my, I'm going to be putting the bike on there. I'm going to be putting gadgets, tripods, lights, etc, etc, etc. So check that one out as well. Uh, there will be a link in the description, I'm sure, below. Uh, it'd be good to see you come over there and just uh, just help the, help the channel grow. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like and all that sort of thing. Just help the channel grow, please, please, please. <laughs> really do, really do appreciate your help. Um, I'm going to stop waffling, I am going to explore, I am going to go for a little bit of a ride up the road, I am going to do a little bit of exploring, I will be bringing Mrs C back here at some point, if it's not for a bike ride it'll be for a walk because we're a long way up and the castle looks awesome from up here. So till next time, ciao for now, see you soon and if I do switch the camera back on then you'll be seeing some more images coming up after, if I don't I'll see you on the next one and if you haven't got a bike just come for a walk, that's all you've got to do, go for a walk, take your camera and explore that's what i'm doing exploring i am exploring not very often i do that so yeah finish now we are i'm gonna get a drink see you soon
I've um, I knew I'd do this but as soon as I started riding up here and coming to this new area that I've never been before I found some compositions so I put my wide angle lens on uh, and I just want to try and get a couple of snaps of these rocks and boulders in the foreground with the castle in the background now I've just actually shot the bike up on the top but I just think this is pretty awesome and uh, I love these rocks framing the castle in the background it looks pretty cool all right yeah I do like these rocks these rocks and leading lines are very very cool all leading you to the background and uh, I'm going to go F11, try and get the castle in the background. It's not the best of conditions. The sun, the sun is out, very harsh. But I thought I'd just end up with a few photographs where the light's just on them. And you've got the castle over in the distance and these big set of boulders, which looks pretty awesome. Very cool. And there's another shot down there. It's got all these leading lines. So I'm going to stick these ones up and I'm definitely going and... Um, I'm coming back here. This is an awesome place. There's some amazing looking trees up there. I may do a bit of recce shot. I may put a few up to have a look at. But there's a lot of potential here for some pretty cool shots. So I'm going to be bringing this biker back with Mrs. C and go for a ride up here and have a look all around this area because there's lots to shoot. Ciao for now. See you soon. And um, I'm definitely going this time. Bye. So it looks like I ended my video very, very prematurely earlier on. I've taken lots of photographs since I turned the video camera off. So I'm ever so sorry about switching it back on again. But as you guys know, this is what I do. <laughs> Look at this behind me. I'm in a quarry. It definitely looks quarry to me. Uh, so I've got these lovely ridges, the lovely lines going up. I've got trees at the top there. I've got the castle down the back there. But I've been right up on the top. Uh, I've been about two miles, which is really pretty good on the bike, I suppose, really. Coming back down, a couple of little hairy spots on the way back down, but uh, thoroughly enjoying it so far. Uh, all I've got to do now is just make my way just down past the last little bit of grass and track, and I'm going up to the road to the van. I am definitely ready for a hot cup of coffee, some biscuits maybe, and uh, my tea tonight. I've been out most of the day, and uh, yeah, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy riding the bike and being out taking photographs. So. I'm going to finish off with the last couple of pictures here. Just as the light's gone in now, it's gone very grey. I think we're heading for some rain later on this evening, but um, I'm going to finish off with the last couple of photographs here. They just look pretty cool. I just like the lines, I like the texture. I think I'm going to make them quite gritty and grungy. Pop that sky right out. But yeah, what an awesome day. I'm definitely, definitely saying goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. Helps the algorithms, no end. My lips are going numb, and it's time for me to get a cup of tea. See you soon. And my cheeks numb as well. <laughs> Bye.